This video is brought to you by Cool Green Clothing coming straight up out of that DMV. You know what it is. This that Baltimore designer right here. Come on now. Come and show some love and show some support. Go online right now. CoolGreenClothing.com and make your purchase. Oh yeah, by the way, if you ain't cool and getting the green, you're in a way. And that's just basic. I, I. It's your girl, Mrs. Tony, two times, and I'm back with another episode of The Baltimore Way. In this video, I'll be telling the story of a recent case involving a petty argument between sisters that left one fighting for her life and the other charged with the crime. But before we get into this video, please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And of course, feel free to share this video with everyone you know. Also, if you'd like to see more episodes of The Baltimore Way, please click the link to the playlist in the description box after this video to get caught up. Everything in this video is alleged. All right, let's get into it. Alyssa Christine Jarrells was born on February 26, 1993 in Annapolis, Maryland to her loving parents. Alyssa grew up close to her grandmother and they had a bond like no other. Alyssa is described as kind, sweet, and adored by all who had the chance of knowing her. She is very caring and generous. Alyssa became a mother of three amazing children to whom she dedicated all her love and devotion to. Alyssa also enjoyed spending time with family and friends. After attending a wedding on the evening of Saturday, August 24th, 2024, 31-year-old Alyssa and her younger sister, 29-year-old Brianna Kathleen Jarrells, headed over to Alyssa's boyfriend's house in Catonsville. They arrived there around 8.30 that evening. The sisters, Alyssa's boyfriend, and a few other people who were visiting were at the home. Both sisters had been drinking and planned to crash at Alyssa's boyfriend's house, according to a friend. As the night went on, Alyssa and Brianna got into a petty argument. The argument continued to escalate and the tension between the sisters progressed as the night went on. According to a friend of Alyssa, the people who were at the house visiting tried to convince them not to drive since they had been drinking. Brianna of Greenbelt, which is about 30 to 40 minutes from Catonsville, allegedly wanted to go home instead of staying the night. By this time, it was past midnight into the early morning hours of Sunday, August 25th. It was around 1 a.m. when Brianna decided she wanted to go home. The disagreement between Alyssa and Brianna intensified. Alyssa's boyfriend walked the sisters outside to the car in the driveway and continued to have the conversation about staying put for a while. However, despite much convincing, the friend said Alyssa's boyfriend was unable to get them to stay and started to walk back into the house. As he walked away, he heard Alyssa saying, oh my God, repeatedly. When he turned around, Alyssa had collapsed to the ground and there was blood on the ground too. Brianna was allegedly leaning against a car standing over Alyssa. Alyssa's boyfriend began rendering aid to her and used Brianna's cell phone to call 911. Alyssa had suffered from a really bad cut wound. Baltimore County Police arrived at the house on the 5600 block of Wilkins Avenue at 1.35 a.m. Officers found Alyssa suffering from a life-threatening injury in the driveway. Responding officers asked Alyssa, where's the suspect? 
And Alyssa replied right there and pointed to her younger sister, Brianna. Alyssa was rushed to the hospital for treatment. Brianna was taken to the Baltimore County Police Headquarters for questioning. Records described how county police took Brianna to an interview room and while waiting for the homicide detectives to arrive, she made numerous unsolicited voluntary statements and asked police, do you know if my sister is okay? In her alleged statements, she said, I know it's real. I actually used a utility knife. I never actually tried. I pinned it up to her as a warning. Brianna then said, I need to shut the F up, realizing it might not be in her best interest to keep talking. At the scene of the incident, police ended up finding a yellow utility knife just feet away from where Alyssa was cut. Back at police headquarters, Brianna declined to be interviewed by detectives. Afterwards, police finally told Brianna that Alyssa had passed away. Alyssa was pronounced gone after she arrived at the hospital. Brianna responded and said, Oh, F, I thought I just nipped her before breaking down in tears. Brianna was arrested and charged with first degree murder. She waived her right to a bail review hearing and is currently being held without bail at the Baltimore County Detention Center. Brianna Jarrells is innocent until proven guilty. May Alyssa Jarrells rest in peace. My deepest condolences to her family and her children. I send them my well wishes during this trying time. Alyssa's family set up a GoFundMe to help with funeral expenses and help for the support of her three children now that they are without their mother. Alyssa was laid to rest on August 30th, 2024. The family is completely in shock and utterly devastated by this tragic outcome. They hope to get justice for Alyssa, and their focus is now on supporting Alyssa's children. This tragic case serves as a grim testimony of how fast disagreements can escalate and the irreversible damage and consequences that follow behind it. Anger is evil in nature. There is nothing good about anger. Anger can lead us to do senseless and unconscionable things that will have a profound impact on the people involved and the ones close to them. It's very unfortunate what happened between these two sisters. It's unclear what the sisters were actually fighting about, but whatever it was, I'm sure it could have been resolved without resulting to violence. Fam, what are your thoughts on this story? What do you think played a part in this tragic incident? Do you agree that anger is evil? How could this situation between sisters have been de-escalated? Have you ever faced a situation with a sibling or family member where things got out of hand? How did you handle it? Let me know in the comments below. All right, fam, that's it for this episode of The Baltimore Way. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is your girl, Mrs. Tony, two times. Until next time.